the dog team. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I started over the game. I actually had to shut it down and open up again because there was a pop-up on screen. And I wanted you to see this little intro here. Since I, I always think it's kind of cool when uh, developers, they do something. Yeah, I've been watching the... Obi-Wan trailer reaction apparently. So we're gonna do things slightly different this time around because usually I do like three or four, maybe sometimes five random indie games that we play, but I've gotten some feedback, uh, not from subscribers, but from uh, people in my life that has been telling me that these episodes tend to get a little bit long. Uh, so instead of recording one hour, we're just going to be doing one and taking a look at one game. And I think this just kind of makes things easier. So we can just take a look at one and it gets all the focus. Uh, so, you know, if it's a good game, it gets all the praise and it doesn't get overshadowed by other games, uh, which is just kind of nice. Of course, that also means that it has the opposite effect if this is not a good game. So the game we have here is a game called Out of Sight. And this is a very different game from everything else I've seen out there. Apparently you control a blind girl who has been kidnapped and the only way she can see is through her teddy bear. So you have to like carry around the teddy bear and place it different places to get different camera angles uh, to allow for her to solve puzzles. And that just kind of seemed like a really fun way to do things. So, you know, I'm very interested to see what this is. I love the little um, button that we have as the mouse cursor. Kind of a, uh, you can see a little bit of the, the whiteness of the PNG image they use. But other than that, it's a really cool thing. There's no settings. We do have controls. Everything looks custom made, by the way. This is nice. This is a Unreal Engine game. Usually with Unreal Engine games, you know, they look beautiful, but there's not much gameplay in there. So hopefully this time around, uh, we do have some gameplay because it's a unique concept. So why not? Uh, so we have some walking buttons. We place or take the teddy bear with the left mouse button. We can jump, we can interact. Uh, right mouse button to pick up item. And then we can lift up teddy. Good. And we have sound effects. Let's just go ahead and start the game here. Oh, it's kind of a random skip there. Oh, wait, we control the teddy bear at the moment. Oh, right, so we're walking with the teddy bear in front of us. How do I, um, it said we could jump, but I'm not feeling like we can. Uh, maybe we need to not jump over, but, oh, solve a puzzle. So we place teddy. Okay, so we can't jump if teddy bear is in our arms. Uh, this is really cool, so we need to go pick up teddy again. So it's like a mixture between third person and first person. That's uh, that's different. So we got some drawings. Uh, you know, <laughs> some people getting grinded up and and fed to to different things. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of clipping. I just want to point that out. Like there's a little bit of clipping going on, and I don't know what that thing is. It's like there's a uh, invisible layer on top of the stairs. Um, other than that, it's a beautiful looking game. It plays well. It actually fits with my mouse cursor sensitivity, which is a complaint I usually have with these type of games when there's no settings. So I think we can place Teddy here. There's kind of like some uh, some particles. So we can place Teddy there. And we need to get out. But we can't do that because there's a lock on the door. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Uh, so we'll jump up. I wonder if I just like just press jump. Okay, she jumps up by herself. I thought I had to like click forward or to jump forward. I uh, need to get Teddy. I really like the intro uh, with the animation and, and... Oh, we can take a look at the, the bad guy. Yeah, so that's the kidnapper. And we can place Teddy a couple of places. That's kind of cool. Has that been open the whole time? I don't know. <laughs> um... Let's place Teddy and move the box out of the way. So we can push the box away. Oh, it's actually very, uh, it's not on like a, on, on rails when you do this. I really love this concept. 
I was kind of expecting, like I was about to say before, that you could just place Teddy anywhere. What happens if we get caught? Let's get caught once, because I just want to see what happens. I want to see how the developers made the getting caught feature. Let's actually go and get that key. Jump up. It's very well done. Do I need to jump onto the table? Oh. Um, I do have to say, though, that like this is also well done with the item popping up and everything. Um, but I do have to say, like, there's a little bit of glitchiness going on when you walk around and control the kid. Um, let's pick up Teddy. What was I about to say? <laughs> uh, the buttons, the layout, the controls are a little bit intuitive, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's... Oh, 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 oh. So we need to move that box. So first we need Teddy there to get the box. Get the box over here. Then we need to move Teddy elsewhere so we can actually see it getting placed. R to walk back into view. Oh, that's cool. A safety mechanic. So we don't get trapped somewhere and, you know, we don't know where we are. That's really cool. Let's jump up. Use item. Fuse list. Elevator. Oh, we need a fuse. Okay. So we need the elevator working to, to get out, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I thought this was going to be an entirely third person. Out of sight. Oh, they have uh, advertisements. Is that some of the previous games they made? Can you... Uh, oh, I really want to see what they have. Okay, so we've got Out of Sight. Pacificus. What does that say? Okay, so the vast looks fragile, so we can go up there and push it, but that means we need something to step onto. Does that mean we need the box again? Oh, there's a box here. Okay. We need to jump all the way up, from what I'm guessing, based on how the mechanics work. There we go. I think you might hear that. Let's get caught. I want to see what happens. Is that a... F That's not a fuse, is it? Yeah, I want to get caught. I want to see what happens. So where's the bad guy? <laughs> get over here. Let's insert the fuse. I don't even know if there is a game over mechanic. Wait, no! We can't see this! Teddy doesn't know! <laughs> Uh, there was a bit of clipping through some of the walls there, which is noticeable, um, just to mention it. I don't even know where it took me. Did it take me over there? Oh, we can go upstairs. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Can we... Uh... No fall damage! I love how he put me in a crib. Like, how old does he think we are? Actually, yeah, I don't think so. I think we're too much of a... Uh, like, we're, we're too old of a child. To be using a crib. Oh no, you're not gonna hang Teddy there. <laughs> On a meat hook, okay. Uh, we can't see. And this doesn't say anything. Can Teddy open the door? Yeah, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to like hook Teddy. And then we have to pull the handle, I think. <laughs> oh my god. You can even see the spear coming out at the bottom there. <gasps> oh. Yeah, let's push this. Oh. I wonder if we can get stuck in between the box and the, the object. So, like, so far, this game has good ambience, like, well, I don't think you're actually going to be able to catch me. Oh, there he is! What happens? Oh, it just fades to black, okay. Uh, so we need to hide. We can't run, so that's not good. 
<laughs> I was kind of curious to see what happens. Uh, the ambience is good. Um, lighting is good. Oh, 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 look at the doll. Wait, is that a kid? Go check that out. Oh, you can't get up there. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely a kid up there. I love how you can play this game almost without a mouse. Uh, you can definitely feel this is an indie game. Uh, like, the controls are 90% of the way. Okay, so now we go. Go, go, go. Go hide. Go hide. Go hide. Go hide. Go hide. Wait, what? What did he say? Almost sounded like he said he, he said Maklitz, which is uh, the Danish word for strange. I want to see that kid. Okay, uh, performance by the way. I think the performance is fine. Um, are we not supposed to pick something up? Like why did why did we do? Oh, to open the door. There was a uh, game that came out. A while ago, like uh, so many years ago, I think back in 2014, maybe. Um, oh, what is it called? It, it, you you play this little toddler that can barely walk, and then you have your teddy bear that you bring with you, and the teddy bear is talking to you. Uh, it was a very uh, like back when indie games were like just becoming a thing. It was a very popular game because it was made by just like some students. Like it kind of feels that way. Yeah, so we can't uh, we can't see that kid. I don't know if that was a doll or a kid. Yeah, this is a big house. I can hear you. I wonder if he's patrolling around. <gasps> Key. Wait. Okay. We need to place Teddy. Oh, it's on the table. I thought it was underneath the table, just like glued on. Okay, can I, uh, maybe we need to turn on the TV to just, oh, there he is. If only there was something to jump on. I think that we need to turn on the TV and then run past him. So let's try that. Okay, so we gotta, we actually gotta place Teddy. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> this game is actually terrifying. Um, like I've said before, like, real life situations are always more scary than a ghost. And this is like, this is a kidnapper! At first I thought, oh, well he saw me quickly. But like, I kinda understand, like, like I would have to be here, in reality, to not be seen. He does say Maclit. Oh no! Run! <laughs> Go! <laughs> okay, so maybe we can get behind him. Maybe we don't need to activate the TV first. Uh, he doesn't seem to notice when I lift up Teddy. Well, that's always good. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I think he's gonna, like, turn around randomly. Yeah, like that. And he even looks like a creep. And then like the 10 people watching this video that, that might look like the guy. <laughs> what a creep. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to move this. Oh, there's another hook. Well, that's going to be fun. I love how like you, you can tell that I think this person may have some sort of like... Like, maybe like a degree or something, because they have a fundamental understanding of how to teach the mechanics of the game, just like one at a time, and how to like take simple mechanics, like for example this hook, and then implementing it into other puzzles. Like for example, now we need to, to move Teddy as we're moving the box, and it's just really cool to see. I should wait for the hook to stop moving. Why? Okay, so he's there. Okay. 
needs to turn around. This game is brilliant so far. Again, like I said, there's a... a what? How did you see me? Oh no, we start all the way back here. Yeah, okay, go. We can do it. No! <laughs> uh, I kind of feel like... Like, he doesn't manage to turn around quite... When he notices me. I feel like the, the, the sensor that has been added onto him as a character is... Like, it turn, it flips immediately, right as the animation for him to turn around starts. So, like, even though he hasn't turned around at all, yet, the sensor is still picking up that I'm, I'm back there. Um, so that, that, you know, just as a user experience type thing, is something I would personally want fixed. Okay, let's um, get Teddy. So we can actually see. Oh, it's there. Okay. Uh, place it on the table. Oh, well, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, here. There we go. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't also quite pick up if I'm if I feel like I'm trying to like jump on or like grab onto one side of the box, it doesn't quite catch on to it. Okay, so pick up item. It's weird, like sometimes it's E, other times it's uh, right mouse click. I love how you can just walk down, that you don't have to like click to jump down. Uh, that was one key. Oh, the other key is going to be where he's standing. Is there like a checkpoint system? I really hope this is a checkpoint. Especially because his sensor is a little bit... It, it's not perfect. Like, you don't feel like he should have seen you. It's on the table right there. Okay. Um, oh, right. We can place the box over there so we can get past. I'm just gonna mention it now. Like, if the developer's watching, seeing this feedback, um, if there's no checkpoint system right now, it's a little bit frustrating. Because, you know, like, I feel like I have gotten the key and I don't want to have to start all the way over again. He comes around, pick up Teddy, and then we jump across. Does he- did he say Vefen? Like, he might be like a Swedish or Norwegian person, like, it's like he's saying those words that I know. Oh, I just realized. Yeah, he does say Merklid. Yeah, it's definitely a Scandinavian developer. Oh. We're gonna place Teddy here. Then I'm gonna turn on the TV and I'm, I have to do this in like... Okay, I thought I had to pick up Teddy. What <laughs> fun? It's like, God damn it, or what the hell? Uh... Leads. Okay, F, F, F. Wait for him to get around. We're fine. <laughs> I really love the, uh, like, it's just a really cool system. Like, I've never seen this before. Okay, wait for him. He has to turn around. I hope he doesn't notice that the, the teddy is gone. Uh, the, the, the key is gone. Okay. Put Teddy here. Unlock the door. What if this is not the... Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Run! <laughs> oh, Teddy's sacrificing himself for our sake. Just run. Jump out the window. Oh, we get a cutscene. Awesome. Yeah, it's not Danish. Oh, he threw the teddy at me. So, okay, good. Grab it. Grab it. Go. Yeah, because that's too tiny for you to jump through. 
Oh, I love this! It even has like, you know, like, a snowy outdoors and an environment. Out of sight, design, Pierre Halrus, Damien Halström. Yeah, this is definitely Norwegian or, or a Swedish developer. I, I can never quite tell between those two, because it, it sounds a little similar. <laughs> It doesn't like Norwegian. Norwegian speaking is easier for Danish people to understand than Swedish is. So this may. Did you find all the hidden children? I found one. Cool. So the final verdict for this game here. Um, this was a brilliant new concept that I have not seen before. I don't know if it exists somewhere out there, but I personally have not experienced this concept before. I love the fact that you pick up the teddy bear and you need to place it around to solve puzzles. Um, I could definitely see this being a full length game of like two hours that you would then, you know, pay a price for uh, on Steam or something. Like this was uh, brilliantly made. I love the concept of you having to get away. Like, he's standing behind her like a creep right now. Yeah, it was just a, a really well done game. Of course, there was a couple of graphical hiccups here and there, you know, like the when the camera was like moving around to like show the unlocked doors and stuff or the uh, the elevator getting power. Like it kind of, you could see it clipping through things and it, it looked a little bit weird. And some of the movements are a little bit uh, glitchy from time to time when you try to grab onto something or when you try to jump up things. Um, sometimes when you move, it, it, it acts a little bit weird, like you're kind of like backing up and turning around like um, like you're floating from A to B. But it's like, it's like very minor that you see it, but you just like barely notice it. But that's mostly what I noticed, like the ambience, the music, everything is really well done about this game like it's a really well done game i think this might have been like the first unreal engine game that we tried so far that actually has both like a beautiful looking game but also actually have gameplay that is brilliantly made like it's just a really good game i'm so glad we tried this because uh, you know i, I kind of feel like I feel like there's been this like uh, thing about me praising Unity games and just like completely ignoring the, the visuals and when I see an Unreal Engine game like I'm immediately you know bringing the hammer down on them you know trying to like critique everything but it's really not like that a lot of people just kind of get completely a lot of people become delusional when they see a beautiful looking game like they don't see the gameplay behind the graphics uh, and that's really important to notice and in this case here it was Perfect. It was brilliant. If they made this into a full game, I would buy it. It's it's a really, really fun game to play. And I love the fact that it had that at the end saying, did you find all the children? Like there was more than one. I wonder how many there are. Like I wish it would say a number. Like does the credits say, oh, there's like six kids in the in the level and you have to like find them. So how many people were, were on this game? We have... It says art and design. I'm guessing design is what they mean when they say like people who were designed the, the, the technical aspect of the game. And then you have like the art, artistic people on the side who uh, did all the, the modeling and all that stuff. I wonder how much of this is homemade. It feels homemade, but in a good way. Like it feels like the, the models and everything that was made for this game are, are well done for a homemade game. Like it's at the, like at the borderline where I'm like, is this like store-bought assets from someone who like, you know, has spent a lot of time making these assets and, and sells them on the store? Because it looks really good. Yeah, it's just super rare that we see a game like this. I love how the menu is. I love everything about it. It's uh, it's really only that small, tiny bit with the hiccups when, you know, with some of the movements and camera transitions, uh, clipping through things. That's the only criticism I have. Otherwise, I would give this like a 10 out of 10 all across the board because it's just very well done. So what do you think? Would you get a game like this if it was on Steam for like, let's say, five, ten dollars for maybe two hours of gameplay? I would personally do it. I would, I would think that that was a very fun uh, game to like purchase and, and play a full version of. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.